All right, good morning, everyone. This is Frank with your MTS pre-market update. Let me know if you can hear me right now. I know Marlon was working on the speakers. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Well, I just wanted to um, give a few thoughts on the ES here. It's not really doing a whole lot. There's a very, very paltry range of about four and a quarter, four and a half points uh, in the overnight session. Just a, a lot of quiet activity and, and I do still want to emphasize we're trading, this is Wednesday morning now, and we're trading within the range that was basically established Sunday evening. <laughs> we haven't really gone much outside of that Sunday evening range. A little bit above it, a little bit below it, and that's it. We've basically been in a very, very quiet range to start the week, 10, 11 points or so. So it's it's just very, very quiet. Um, for a long time, I, I never traded holiday type days. Uh, I just use it to either study or do something else. Um, but sometimes they can surprise you. Sometimes it's those days where um, there's not enough volume, there's not enough volatility, it's thin to win, so it's a slow grind to the upside. We've seen those days. No pullbacks, shorts fueling, a very quiet advance, so uh, watch out for that potential. I still think that as long as price remains above 1795s, we're headed higher. We have a clear range that's you know spans from 98 to 09s, and uh, a breakout from that range could spark the next move. I'm not sure we get it today, uh, but we could. Uh, I think if if we get 1795s down to 1792, that's a great spot to consider uh, a buy. We break down below 1790s. That opens the door for a retest in the 80s and potentially down there um, toward that 1775 big time key support zone, which has been huge. You know, that 75, man, that was a great spot. And uh, and now we're holding confidently above 1795s. I think um, that's really the zone to watch here. I think we just kind of build out and we might have to come back into the channel below 7095s, but we'll see. Um, I think I, th this is just a good lines in this chart which is uh, always helpful on the upside for targets I have um, 1808 half 1808 half and 1812 so 08 half and 12 are the upside targets very very close targets again because of the environment as well uh, holiday type of atmosphere uh, we also have 97 half on the downside and 94 as well. So 97 half and 94 on the downside if we get outside this range. Otherwise, we're still kind of bouncing the ball around. In terms of uh, crude oil, we finally got the break. We got the break of that large channel there. Um, 93.20 had been major support. We got a huge break. Uh, I was taking a look at the footprint to see what happened there. And, you know, I hesitate to say anything about. Um, MD charts just yet because I feel like I need to learn it a little better and, and the understand the terminology. What what I'm seeing on my side looks right. It keeps working, but I don't want to say anything that's that's wrong or inaccurate at the moment. But and if I'm wrong, don't tell me because it keeps working. <laughs> but I did see aggressive sellers come in big time lot. Um, you know, right at the I don't know beneath 9320s, like 9318s or something. It really helped push this thing down. Uh, and also yesterday around 3.30 p.m. Central, I mean, that's when price really dropped after the market closed. And uh, and usually when price does that, when you get the big slam down and then it just kind of falls flat, you know, that's, uh, that's not something that usually happens. So that was kind of a precursor there. When I saw it yesterday, I was thinking, huh, that's huge. Is it accumulation or, or not, you know, because if it's, if it's distribution here, we could see a big move. And we got the break. So 9320s are the big time zone as long as we hold below there. I think breaking down out of this channel indicates a move down toward 90 at the very least. Uh, you can see the channel here. Just a basic measured move of the prior leg takes us down to 90. And then if you, you know, if you look at how long it took the channel to build, it's three three weeks plus. Usually you see a move of the prior three weeks somewhere, you know, up in this zone and forecast that leg down. That can take us down to 85 half. So obviously this is forecasting basically year end uh, on this chart. But 9320 is big time level. I think if, if we come back at any point to retest this zone, that's probably the best opportunity to 
to get in and, and sell it if you see weakness in that zone. A retest and failure at that zone can really put you in nice. Right now we've had no pullbacks at all and it's one of those days that you might just need to to write a smaller time frame and, and see what happens uh, in terms of the waves of the move. But I think 9320 offers the best chance to, to sell a longer term swing move here. In terms of the targets for the day, I have 92.88, which we already hit, 92.52, which we already hit, and, uh, and 92.16. So 92.16, we got very close to that one, 91.80 would be the next one. So this thing's already tearing targets to the downside big time. And you can see we're, we're getting a little bit of a bottom here off these 93.20s. Uh, and if we push above 92.50, then the upside targets on the short term basis here would be, well, they're way up there, 93.24, 93.24. So it, yeah, if this is the, the short term low here, we really need to cross back above 92.50s if we get some strength. The next real bull target is going to be back at those 93.20s. So that's what I'm looking at right here on these charts. Exciting stuff, <laughs> except for that ES. And uh, we'll see how it plays out the rest of the day. I'll be here throughout the session, but if it gets really, really, really quiet, I might take the afternoon off and do something fun. All right, that's it for right now. Let's see how it plays out.